Okay, so we have a snowstorm going on and somebody grafted a bit to try and get a feel for how fast this was accumulating. And the question is, if this carried on 10 hours from now, what can we expect as far as uh, accumulation of snow? Uh, so this graph, uh, be hard to kind of picture exactly where it's going to end up here. Um, but what we can do is we can use rates in order to make that prediction. And so first of all, let's establish, uh, the rate in which it's falling right now, and then we can kind of move from there. And so the rate, our slope, rise over run, good to show how you're getting your answers. And we'll pick a couple points here, uh, that and maybe the origin are two nice points. And so the rise, the rise is zero to 10. So 10, and we have the old unit of inches rather than centimeters here, but anyways, we can use that. And uh, the run is in hours. And we would say that was five hours. So that's our run. And so rise over run. So 10 inches over five hours. And that's nice and easy for us to stop and say two inches per hour. Okay, so we have the unit rate now. We know that what's happening out there, two inches per hour happening. So let's kind of carry that forward. Two inches per hour and we're looking at 10 hours. And so let's double check our units, always double check your units. Uh, hours on the bottom, hours on the top cancel out. And we're left with inches, and we're saying how much snow would fall. So number of inches, that makes total sense. So our units check out two times 10, 20 inches. Okay, and there's our answer. And uh, certainly some people would have taken that first step and said, okay, uh, that's 10 inches over five hours. Let's just make an equivalent ratio there. Uh, what would happen if we were looking at 10 hours? We'd have to multiply by two. So to keep it the same rate, we multiply by two and our answer would be 10 times 2 is 20 inches. So either way, perfectly good. Um, again, I find a lot of people prefer that kind of conceptually is a little easier, but um, mathematically, both are perfectly equivalent. So either way is good.